Welcome back to my channel. This is a review on the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Was requested I do a review on this, and I just want to share with you what my thoughts are while I use this because I've used it for more than two weeks. So I just want to share my thoughts, show you swatches. Yes, exciting swatches of this product and then tell you what my overall take is and if I would recommend it. So if you'd like to get my experience, continue watching and don't forget to go ahead and like this video. In this review, periodically, I am going to insert a couple clips of me applying um, different colors in this palette and it was just from a get ready with me that I did. I thought I'll insert some of those videos, um, those little clips for you guys to actually see how the colors worked. Um, or yeah how they were in action so if you guys don't mind those little inserts are gonna pop up and I hope you guys enjoy this review and review thank you so much for watching it this palette was gifted to me but it was a palette I was considering it's 49 US dollars and it can be retailed for um, I think at like Ulta, Sephora has it, Too Faced has it I have seen it on eBay, Amazon, so if you can't shop on like Sephora or Ulta, you can definitely check out eBay and Amazon for international buyers. Definitely want to make sure this is the real deal because I heard they are dupes or fake imitation ones today. So you want to be super careful. Make sure if you buy it from eBay and Amazon that it is the real deal. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is so cute. I immediately thought of Valentine's when I saw this. Like... It just looks so cute and girly to me much better than the original did not like the first one which was a chocolate bar I felt that the colors just were not showing up that well on me so I even though I wanted this I was very hesitant and the hubby ended up picking it up for me I think he was looking at the easy way out for Christmas presents so he saw me checking it out watching it and I did see that I'm actually a little more impressed with this than the first one and I guess that was where he decided to go with it so I did have like initial take where I thought hey this seemed much better than the original and when I did swatch it in store it appeared to be on my hand uh, much better than the original but I was still skeptical because I had a lot of high hopes for the chocolate bar and it didn't work through but packaging is super cute and you get the colors here and it comes with 14 eyeshadows and you get a uh, bunch of neutral smoky colors and one pop of color which is called blueberry swirl and it just talks up it does smell a lot like the original chocolate bar where you do get a chocolate scent I have felt hungry applying this eyeshadows I'll be quite frank I felt hungry I remember one morning I did not eat breakfast and I was using this and I literally was like I have to have some coffee I had to have some hot chocolate this palette got me hungry and I was I mean when I apply it to my eyes I'm like smelling the powder so you do smell it and everything like that however it doesn't the scent doesn't translate on your lid if you're worried that you're gonna be walking around smelling like chocolate even though I think personally I would like that you don't so let's dive into what the uh, palette actual palette looks like it is lighter in color than the original chocolate bar it was more like a dark chocolate to me I think of this as milk chocolate even though they call it the semi sweet has the chocolate bar look to it already it's the two face isn't you feel like a rice feeling to it it's pink and a kind of goldish color here at the back does give you a little information of what it's about however this palette says that it has a 12 month cycle yeah um, 12 month lifespan has me a little scared because hey you I'm not gonna finish this in a year's time and when you even look at say the eyeshadows and I'm gonna block the mirror a bit you have some ginormous you have two ginormous colors how am I gonna finish that so that was what I was very skeptical the mirror is still super cute comes with this little booklet that tells you about it, it says semi sweet chocolate bar it does say milk chocolate at the back here I guess these are the looks that you can create so you can create milk chocolate semi sweet chocolate and hot chocolate so again I don't ever follow through with these but they are great for those of who are beginners and may just want a little tip and trick in how to like maybe even create looks so that is always snug right by where the mirror is and I'm just trying to put it back because somehow I just like the presentation oops so it clasp is pretty decent not um 
heavy duty as you pull it, you feel a heavy magnet no um, so that you do get a little closure but I think it's enough and good for travel it's nothing too crazy and I'm glad because you don't want to pry and break your nails so this is what the arrangement looks like in terms of the color selection as you can see that's the pop of color that you do get there and the palette and then you have a um, like cool tone shades and a couple warm tones so that's what I really like with this one it has cool and has warm tone so I'm gonna swatch all of these tell you a little bit about how I think the color um, payoff is how how it seems to work um, on my skin I've used all of the colors I've tried all of the colors and so I will just tell you how they work start to swatch I will tell you that I have noticed fallout on a lot of the colors considerable maybe a little um, but not crazy crazy fallout and certain colors I've learned it wet your brush and apply it and they are amazing so I'm going for the top row starting from left to right and that's how I'm gonna go first color is liquor licorice some people say licorice this is your black color it is appearing to be quite um, pigmented that's two swatch of it I barely tap my brush to put this in the crease to smoke out a color and to me it worked amazing next we have coconut cream and coconut cream is a matte cream color amazing brow bone I absolutely love this there we have nougat and that is like a pinky cool tone um, matte color very smooth love it for transition amazing and then another matte color we have is truffled which is a nice chocolate brown oh my god i love 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 this chocolate brown i have used it considerable for my crease like when i say considerable like really considerable i have used it for my crease that's it there it's very pigmented they do they do stain your fingers so you want to be super careful um when applying them that you do tap and build as you go because they can be quite intense. Have the last one which is called um, Hot Fudge which is to the very end and it's a very dark chocolate and this is more or less what I always use for um, my crease color so that's the top row right there and you can build it and this thing builds amazing it's like can you see how that just changed it so that's a close-up of the first row. We have licorice, hot um, coconut cream, nougat, truffled, and hot chocolate to the end here. So we're going to dive into the second row, which has rum raisin. And that's it there. Then we have, no, that's cocoa chili. What am I saying? That's cocoa chili. Then pink sugar. And pink sugar is a very glittery color. I tried putting this in my ear in a tear duct and this just really didn't work i have heard that you can apply this with like a glitter primer and you'll get some sort of payoff it looks um good on top of other eyeshadows if applied with glitter i have not found a way to make this work for me so and it's not my favorite then we have pudding which is a very nice taupe um color you can use this for very light wash of color um like if no no like you're doing a neutral very neutral eye and you want to just darken up the crease a little bit that's where you use um put in then we have blueberry swirl which is the last one it's a pop of color um in the batch and we're gonna swatch it so that's it there. now blueberry swirl is coming off almost like a grayish color you're not getting the blue but I ha did use it in a look and I did use a blue base before applying it I'm just gonna build on pink sugar for you guys a little more and that same blueberry swirl to see if I'm gonna get any better payoff for you guys yeah it's still coming off like a blue tone gray and pink sugar is not pop um, is that glittery color that's there we have two more colors in the row which, which are like favorites again in the palette you have peanut butter <laughs> love love peanut butter I'm trying to calm down and frosting which is a lot of two there so we're gonna swatch peanut butter which is a matte color and you have frosting which is your how to put it's like it's nothing unique because there are so many other colors and palettes that you can get it. I'm sure it's like the naked on a reveal and all those kind of 
palette so that's what peanut butter looks like there and for some people they're gonna be like but uh, that's nothing but that is a gorgeous transition color for my skin tone and I'm gonna build on it for you guys to so see it is super super gorgeous and that there is actually truffle no frosting and it's super gorgeous it's that kind of goldish bronzy color nothing unique but it's again very nice to be in this palette and then we have rum raisin being the last row now so we have rum raisin which is like a frosty taupe color mousse which is another brown tone now this is very close to like a little darker than my skin tone when i put it in a crease then we have caramel i've placed this all over the lid this reminds me of half bake and then you have bonbon which i've used like it's like a rose gold kind of color and so we're gonna swatch that is what rum raisin So that's the last one is so you have rum raisin mousse caramel and then bonbon can you see that it's gorgeous color, and so which is like my absolute favorite it's called butter pecan it is a highlighter and i'm so happy they put this color so big this is looks like almost like nothing but it's what I have on my lid and it is super pigmented, that's it there. You can use this as a face highlighter, but definitely you want to go with a light hand. This is a gorgeous color for me and my skin tone all over the lid. I have been in search of a color like this for ages. Because a lot of champagne colors that I've used, just sometimes when you, pack, you have to pack it on way too much or it fades after a while. This does not fade and it lasts forever on my skin tone so that's the 14 colors or just gorgeous why gorgeous. I keep saying 14 is actually 16 colors 14 smaller how many ounces 14 shadows at 0 0.095 grams and then two at 2.2 grams more than double <laughs> no why I kept saying that but this is what it looks like 16 eyeshadows gorgeous gorgeous and I'll just try to get the swatches up for you guys yeah Whew. I as you can see I'm in love with this palette so happy that my hobby decided to get it for me because I personally think that I would not have gone ahead and purchased this if I had like if it was left up to me because I still rated it so much like the original chocolate bar but this is really 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 nice palette and I enjoy using it it's like I'm telling myself that I need to put this down so that I can use other things but I don't want to so you may see this in a couple weekly baskets I'm actually thinking I should have put this alone just to um the panda palette because I enjoyed so much and I can see myself using I know the blue does not look as nice as you know you would like it but you can make this pop if you have a blue base blue pencil put it on your lid and put it on top oh my gosh it's crazy nice and so I like it I wish that they maybe if they can come out with another chocolate bar series something that they can actually insert a green that would be amazing if you I doubt you're listening so why am I gonna even say speak to them love this but I would love a green as a nice pop of color if you know me I love greens so that is my take on it swatches love it and I would recommend this I would purchase this palette any day over the regular chocolate bar I love it and the pigmentation the colors as you can see they look so great I have used um, almost like all of these colors here in this row which is the last row as the lid colors and I've also, of course used is it called butter pecan yes butter pecan as a lid color numerous times it's that quick easy to go you get in total matte one two three four five six seven you get seven full-blown mats and then one two three four five six seven eight shimmers and one color as glitter that is a total fail in my book but I will try and make it work maybe see if I can actually 
use my elf glitter primer and put it on something and try it out but that's my take on this palette i did do um this look i did do a get ready with me feature in it so definitely look out for it sometime soon but thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoy this review and take care